Hey everyone, Carla here. I have a surprise for you as I adjust my camera here. Today I am doing an unboxing and giveaway of um, the advanced reader copies for my upcoming book, Brunch at Bittersweet Cafe. So um, I did an earlier one on Facebook Live that was a bit of a disaster because my internet kept going in and out. So there's a lot of pixelation. So I am now on my cell phone and fingers crossed that this one goes a little bit better. Um, <laughs> and in any case, um, I'm going to be doing uh, a couple of different giveaways this weekend across all of my platforms. You can go over to my author page on Facebook, Carla Loriano Author, and comment on the video there. And I will be drawing one winner from there. I will be drawing one winner from commenters here. So if you have just logged on and you're joining me, please leave me a message um, to let me know you're here and you're interested in winning and I will pick from those comments and then I also have a tweet going out later tonight that you can retweet um, for to enter to win and then I will have a blog post up on my um, my blog carlaloriano.com where you can win so I'm going to be giving away four maybe five copies depending on how many responses I get so um, make sure that you you go to all of those different places to maximize your chances to win and um, without further ado I want to show you the baby brunch at bittersweet cafe so um some of you may have seen an early copy of this cover that hit um amazon before we were actually finished with it and so this is this is a revised cover um with a little bit different photo and a different font and i really like it and i love the macarons on the cover and i have to admit the macarons do kind of figure into the book a little bit and i had this um <laughs> I had this macaron obsession last, I think it was probably last February or March while I was writing this book, and I must have made like seven different batches of macarons, and I started getting pretty good at it, um, but I still haven't quite mastered the whole technique um, for high altitude because I live at about 6,000 feet, and anytime you're doing a meringue-based cookie, it gets a little complicated. So I'm thinking I might need to get back and make some macarons and maybe give some away as we get closer to um, the uh, book release in February. So in any case, let me tell you a little bit about this book. If you have read The Saturday Night Supper Club, you're already familiar with Melody. She is the pastry chef, um, best friend of Rachel, the heroine of the first book, and she gets her own spotlight in this one. And she is probably my favorite character in the series because she is just so perky and so positive all the time. And so she was really fun to write, but she was also really difficult to write because she's complete opposite from me. Not that I'm not a perky person, as you can probably tell, but I am very much a planner and I like having everything planned out. And she's very much go with the flow and, hey, I think I'm just going to go live in Paris for a year and study pastry. And um, so she was a little bit difficult to write because she's the complete opposite from me in um, terms of personality. And she kind of took over the book a little bit and she kind of did not want to deal with her own issues. And so the first draft of this book turned out to be just this really sweet romance because she just wanted a really sweet romance. But no, I did not let her get away with that. I know that sounds a little schizophrenic and I generally don't let my characters take over. But um, yeah, I really needed to force her to deal with her issues. And I'm just so happy with the way the book turned out because I think it's just, um, I think it's really fun. It's really sweet. It's very real and raw in places. Um, and I just hope that a lot of women are going to relate to this character and really enjoy it. So, again, um, Brunch at Bittersweet Cafe ARCs. If you are on NetGalley or Edelweiss, you can get a, a digital ARC as well. I know that there's only a limited amount that are going to be approved, but go ahead and put in your um, requests. And then um, if you are a member of the Tyndale blog network, you can also request a copy of this book as well. And so um, those will be finished copies that will be going out later in the year. I know that they're gonna send out um, emails about it at, at some point. I feel like they go out pretty soon, um, but I may be wrong on that. But just keep your eyes open if you're a member of that blog network. So in any case, thank you for joining me. Looks like it looked, went a little better than the last one because I didn't get any nasty grams about not having internet in the middle of it. Um, good luck in all of the entries. Make sure you hop on over to all the different um, social media sites to put in your comment for a chance to win. And I'm really looking forward to sharing this book with you. So thanks for joining me, you guys. Love you all. I will talk to you soon. Bye.